Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Well, this was Lucy in Anova. Thursday afternoon. Take a look. So this is Lucy. Right in the vicinity of the GV service station. Water is heading from Keepleaf into town like crazy. It's been about an hour and a half now after the rain. And it seems like the water is just coming. I am parked right here. Trying not to go, go into the water, but I don't I know what is going to happen. Going in there. You're there for the yeah, what is your question? If me if me get a chance we go no me not walking there. Me not came no. But me don't know what time Okay, okay. So as far as you can look to keep left, that is it. That is the look. That is the situation. As far as you can look towards keep left, that is how it looks. Sorry. Are the gas station in the front? Go be your wife. All right. As far as you can look, all the way to keep left. Water is flowing like a river. And this is the Lucy Town Center main road. This is the Lucy Town Center main road. All the way to keep left, all the way back to in the town. This is what is happening. Where am I going to be? I crossed me across the middle. For years now, whenever it rains heavily in Lucy, it's like that. <laughs> Boy, may I tell you. In today's journey, we are still traveling along the elegant corridor. We are now heading towards the parish of Chilani. We are still on our North Coast excursion. Continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. My viewers, my subscribers, I'm going to have to cut this video in two. Because the stories, them enough, may I tell you. So, this is part one, and part two will be coming up shortly. In this first incident, we are learning that fire of unknown origin completely destroyed four stalls and all its contents in the Falmouth Market in the parish of Trelawney. This took place on Thursday night, August 25th, 2022, about 10.30. We are told that persons in the area, they saw a fire and they summoned the fire department. When they arrived at the scene, they were only able to do cooling down operation because the stalls, which were made out of board, and all its contents, were completely destroyed by fire. We are told that the value of the loss is estimated at over 17 million Jamaican dollars. Now, if you look on your screen, those are the three ladies who own the stalls in the market that were destroyed. We are told that an investigation is being done by the fire personnel and the police to ascertain what really caused this fire. But this is really sad indeed trust me now onto the crime scene we are learning that two brothers were shot and injured at sammy drive in the montego hills police area in the parish of st james this took place on thursday morning august 25th 2022 about some minutes after nine o'clock we are learning that one of the brothers he's in his early 20s and the other one he's about 15 years old we are told that he's a student at the Hopewell High School in Hanover. We are learning that both brothers, they were attacked and shot by hoodlums, armed with a shotgun and a 9mm pistol. They were rushed to a nearby hospital where they were treated. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, a number of 12-gauge and 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. Now, this next incident, it took place at a place named Shantytown in the Grangeville area in the parish of Westmoreland. It took place 
Thursday afternoon, August 25th, 2022, about 5.30. So here is what we are learning. A man, he's popularly known as Yui. He's said to be in his late 40s and he's a bike taxi operator. Yui, he lives in the Grangeil area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that Yui, he was riding his bike from a place named Jerusalem Mountain in the same Grangeil area. It is said that he stopped and picked up a man. This man, he's popularly known as Benge. Benge is also said to be in his late 40s. Now, while they were riding along the road, it is said that another motorcycle passed them in the opposite direction with two guys on it. It is said that Benge and Yui, they were suspicious of the two guys on that bike that just rode past them. By the time they looked behind them, they realized that the bike, it had turned back and was now riding behind them. Yui, he continued riding but the two hoodlums were coming fast behind them. We are told that Yui, he stopped the bike and Benge, who we are suspecting that these hoodlums wanted, he immediately jumped off the bike and ran into a yard. The pillion on the other bike, he jumped off his bike and chased Benge, opening a barrage of gunshots at him. Benge, he managed to elude his attacker. The hoodlum, upset that Benge escaped, he then shot Yui in his right leg. He then jumped back onto the motorcycle and he and his crony made good their escape. Yui, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. Boy, may I tell you. In this next incident, we carried a story on Sunday, August 14th, 2022. And we told you about an incident that took place on Friday afternoon, August 12th, 2022, about some minutes after 3 o'clock. It took place at a bar and grill along the Goodens River, Main Road, right at the entrance of Miller's Avenue in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. We told you that persons were in the bar when a motorcycle rode up and stopped with two hoodlums aboard. It is said that the pillion, he already had a gun in his hand and he came off the bike, pointed the gun in the bar and opened a barrage of gunshots at the patrons in the bar. He then jumped back onto the motorcycle and he and his crony made good their escape towards the town of Savannah Lamar. Luckily, no one was injured in that attack but we are told that the front door of the bar was damaged by bullets. The police were called and when they processed the crime scene, we are told that six 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. So we are learning that the Savannah Lamar police, they carried out an investigation into this matter and immediately the name of a suspect was given. On Tuesday, August 23, 2022, the police officers, they carried out an operation and as a result of this operation, they picked up the alleged shooter. He has since been charged by the police. His name is Kevin Garden, but he's popularly known as Josh. Josh, he is 18 years old and he resides at Rickett Street in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. Josh, he has been charged for shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm. So, he will be going to the courts shortly to face his judgment. In this next incident, a 51-year-old gardener is dead and a 62-year-old property manager is in police custody facing a charge of murder. This is due to an incident that took place last night. Friday, August 26, 2022, about 7 o'clock. It took place at Poinciana Drive in Greenwood in the parish of St. James. So here is what we are learning. The property manager, we haven't gotten his first name, but his surname is Daly. Like we said, he is 62 years old and he is originally from a Kingston address. The name of the gardener is Mr. Joseph Palmer. Mr. Palmer, he is originally from Maypen in the parish of Clarendon, but he was working and staying at the property at Poinciana Drive in Greenwood. Mr. Daly, he's the property manager for that property where Mr. Joseph Palmer was working. We are learning that Mr. Daly, 
he made a complaint to the owner of the property about Mr. Palmer. As a result, the owner of the property held a meeting with both of them. The meeting, it resulted in Mr. Palmer being suspended for a few weeks. The fact that Mr. Palmer was suspended, it means that he should leave the property and go back to Mirpen or wherever else he wants to stay. But he could not stay at the property during the time he was suspended. So, last night, Mr. Palmer, he went back to the property to pick up his clothes and some other stuffs. Mr. Daly was at the property. We are told that an argument developed between Mr. Daly and Mr. Palmer. That argument, it got physical and it is alleged that Mr. Daly, he pulled a knife and make one joke. Mr. Palmer, he was stabbed in his right side. Mr. Palmer, he was rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E Just like that, a hard-working man is dead and another hard-working man is in police custody facing a murder charge. Boy, may I tell you. Now, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? <laughs> yeah, man, the same thumbs up button. If you have not yet hit on it, remember to hit on it. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, remember, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell, then click all. So that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. And coming up shortly, we'll be releasing another video because we can't put all of the stories in this one video. In the final story in this video, this one, it took place on Thursday night, August 25th, 2022, about 9.30. It took place along the Peggy Barry Main Road in Grangel in the parish of Westmoreland. So here is what we are learning in this case. We are learning that a young man, his name is Jamar Johnson, but he was popularly known as Porridge. Porridge, he is 23 years old and he lived at Kings Valley in Grangel in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, we are aware that there are some allegations being made by persons in the area. My advice to you is that if you have any evidence at all, supporting this allegation please contact indicom we are learning that porridge he left home thursday night telling his family members that he was going to visit his girlfriend in a neighboring parish the police they are saying that a motorist told them that he reportedly heard gunshots being fired in the area as a result the police officers they proceeded to the area and made checks the officers they are saying that they saw a purple Cobra motorcycle in bushes along the Peggy Barry main road. They are also saying that they made further checks and Jamar Johnson, also known as Parridge, he was seen lying on his right side in bushes near to where the motorcycle was seen. Parridge, he had gunshot wounds to his head. Parridge was transported to the Savannah Lamar Public Hospital where he was pronounced D -E -A -D. We are learning that when this crime scene was processed, a number of 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin. Me want me country back, give me me country.
Chiba Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals say ma mash up Jamaica Jamaica's mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals say ma mash up Jamaica Jamaica's mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Jamaica, Jamaica, the land 